For our last video, we looked at uploading a STATA file. Now, you may have data from another format. So, you see the STATA file, it's already there and it's still there, but we can, if we wanted to delete it, we could, or we can just go ahead and upload a file right next to it. So, if I want to do that, I can do upload and then choose file. Say I want to upload an SPSS file. So I type in dot save and then the kind, you know, I have an SPSS program on here so it knows to look for it. And say I want to look at, I have some uh, older 1990 life expectancy data here. So if I want to open it up, I click OK. And I already have that previous package or library haven in this package here to allow me to do that. Now, it's there. I've imported it already, but I have to do something else with it. So if I click view file, it's not going to work. It's going to try to open it up on my program, on my computer with SPSS. I need to import the data set. So when I do it, it shows me the first 50 entries and there they are. Sometimes there might be a numerical or an at sign in the event that your program allowed you to start something off with a number it'll throw an at sign in front of it but here it looks like the right data for what I had the life expectancy data for the United States in 1990 and I can tell it to go I have to zoom out so I can click import there we go and it imports it and there are the data if I want to delete the data file I can I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you've saved everything that you want to work with and we'll talk about that kind of stuff later. Uh, if you're interested in uploading an Excel file, you have to choose your Excel file. Um, here's some, uh, you know, you would pick whatever Excel file you want. Um, here's some County Health Facts 2019 data. It's in the Excel format. I go ahead and, and bring it into our studio. And then when I click on it, if I click on view file, it's going to open up Microsoft Excel and try to read that program or read that spreadsheet. If I import data sheet, it has to install this package. So I'm going to tell it yes. So now it's going to take a little bit of time as it runs this code. So within uh, this library haven, it's got this um, code for us to be able to read this Excel sheet. So this may take, again, a little bit more time depending upon the speed of your computer as well as the speed of the broadband internet that you're using. And it's brought it all in there. And if your spreadsheet was laid out nicely to start with, you're in pretty good shape. So, and then at the very end of it here, you know, there might be some stuff that I didn't necessarily have uh, information attached to. So, but overall, it's all brought in there. So, that's just a little bit on importing data. And then once we've imported our data, um, we are able to, um, you know, use our statistical analysis approaches, which is probably what you're most interested in doing anyways. So that's opening up Excel files and SPSS files using rstudio.cloud.